so we're back. Uh, apologies for the last video. It will be uh, loading up to YouTube very shortly. Uh, for some reason, my mic didn't work. I had it turned on. Everything seems to be running fine. I even done a little tester beforehand, and it was good. Uh, but no audio was recorded, so I had to go back uh, and add audio for me commentating into the clip. It's very lackluster. I explained in that video what I'd done, and I only do about halfway through the video before getting both pissed off and just bored, uh, re-commentating over what I've just played. And it's it's never going to be as good second time around when I'm just actually explaining what just happened again. You can't react the same way. It doesn't feel as tense, you know. So um, enjoyed the whole clip, but uh, yeah, the second half is. Doesn't have me talking in it, obviously. Um, right, so we got the shotgun. We avoided Jack. We've already been down in the basement, killed a few of the molded down there, these monstrous freaks. And uh, yeah, we're going to make our way back into the basement. We we'll dropped the scorpion key off because I don't think I need it again down in the basement. Could be wrong about that. Hopefully, I'm not. But. We needed a section room key instead, so that'll get used. We will take gunpowder with us because we're going to combine that now, give us even more bullets. Like I said before, bullets are life, bullets are love, or the opposite, but still. Um, I'm going to take the first aid med because, again, I also fucked up with that in the last episode and used it for no apparent reason because I keep forgetting what the heal button is. It's only been a month since I last played this. Or two tops so yeah fun right into the basement and now we have the shotgun we have a bit more of a chance of survival we killed the first few mold down here but we've got to go through the boiler room so we've got to get to the dissection room so I don't think anything should have respawned but this is a uh, as already stated is not a nice area so we'll go through the shortcut now it's open to us I mean, this is clearly but this this whole horrific thing has clearly been going on with his family for years. Anyway, I mean, you don't have this set up in your house, like if it happened last week, right? Anyway, the section room. The mold is everywhere. Some more handgun ammo, always good. A few of these fuckers do spawn down here. I can't quite remember where I know there's one round the corner. More chem fluid. Yep. And you. Shotgun. Doing good work at the moment. <clears throat> one clean headshot is enough to take on a standard molded. At least in this difficulty setting. If I remember rightly. The boiler room or whatever this this is stated as. There's two in here, one right fucking there. Fuck off. And there's one a little bit further in. Around here, ish. Fuck off. Oh shit. There's three. I can't remember there being three. And he's not dead. I am the worst shot. Where the fuck are you aiming, bruh? Will you fucking die already? Jesus. I don't even remember that third one from before. On any difficulty. So that was a waste. We only have three slugs left in the, uh, three shells in the shotgun. Take the strong chem fluid that can make enhanced handgun ammo. More shotgun shells. We've got the pump action at the moment, so we can hold four in the chamber. Now we use the section room key. That is free. 
And let's see what awaits beyond. Gonna close that or have a little look in here. More shotgun shells always handy. Alright, dog's head. I was gonna be your father. suffer but you my friend will help me so Jack's got the dog's head of course he has and uh, that is the police officer that was had part of his head sliced off by Jack before so he thinks he's going to help him, uh, sorry, help, yeah, he thinks the police officer's going to help him do something to me. Um, so that's, that's not good. Gotta love those uh, annoying sounds that try and make us jump. Right. <coughs> Very brief pause while I uh, get my shit together. Sorry about that, and uh, by uh, getting my shit together, of course, I mean uh, pouring myself another drink, because uh, why not have a stiff drink to steady one's nerves playing this game, although it's actually because I'm still raging from losing the audio uh, of the last video, but hey, uh, as I was going to mention, I quite like the gun details in that in, this, uh, in the game, having the blood from your enemy still splattered all over the gun. Very nice. So that is a room of pure death and torture. So that's that's lovely. Um, we're gonna see if I can cheese this item through here. I can. So just picking it up when we get in there. Uh, yeah. So uh, we have one space left for an item and unfortunately the dog the dog's head to get out of the house is near here so we're not going to be picking up this chem fluid here yeah, that is one he looks I want to say juicy but it doesn't seem right just very liquidy he is turning sort of animal carcass. I mean, it's a bit overkill. We already have a dead man here. Uh, yeah. Interesting fact, considering uh, it's usually Western games that uh, don't like their gore and horror. But in, in Japan, we, we meet this guy again later, and in Japan, him being on that morgue table there was, was censored to shit. Um, oh no, sorry, no, we find his decapitated head later, uh, in this game, I'll point it out, that'll be obvious, uh, in the Japanese release, which Capcom's a Japanese com company, they make these games, uh, it was censored and there was just a picture rather than his, uh, decapitated head, so that was, uh, that's a thing, so, that's a, a mechanic to stun enemies, who kick dead bodies at them which is yeah, yeah, never pleasant right <coughs> the dog's head's there but we're gonna have a because it's a blatant trap you anyone could tell it's a blatant trap so let's just go and have a little look here gunpowder i have to pick that up after so um, yeah i'm 
going to get a shotgun out. This is shotgun time. So, uh, without further ado, let's do this. Oh, hey. What the fuck? Back up, back up. I am doing whatever the fuck I like because I have got shotgun. Don't piss you off. You're coming at me with fucking whatever the hell that is. Fun. Give that to me. Oh, motherfucker. Try and keep some scenery between us and him. Straight for his fucking head. See, if you're a normal human being, that would that would be more than just that fuck you up in new and interesting ways. Right, so we get some of this on. Oh shit! back on. Run away. That is a facing the body. Ugh. And yet he still tries to move. Fucking hell. Ugh. Do me a favor and stay dead. Well said, Ethan. It's the most interesting thing you've came out with since you were uh, having those lovely heartfelt conversations with your wife. Okay, so that's a lot of whatever the fuck that is. That ain't okay. That could be normal. I don't know. I've never, never cut apart a human before. Okay, so let's. Yeah, we'll take the first aid med. We used one. On the safe side. So, All right. Let's cut the fuck out of here. Cut our way out. Which, of course, metal on metal is never good. So that is gonna fuck up our chainsaw because that'd be a really handy weapon to have, wouldn't it? Of course, of course. Right. So now we're free to go. Oh, I can get over the chem fluid. I can shut that back up on me. Get go back up and get the chem fluid or the gunpowder. Uh, ah, no. I know what I can do. I already have chem fluid, so pick up the gunpowder, make more bullets as per usual, and uh, uh, there's another door down here. This leads back up the other way to the uh, the basement. So there's a shortcut. We've got a snake key, so we can't do it. But we can we can pick up that. 
I'm not going to use the red stuff on it that can be used for bigger first aid med or enhanced handgun ammo later but I just want some standard handgun ammo right now top that shit up plenty this will be our weapon of choice for the majority of the game when when we get better at shooting so I've been terrible at this uh, this playthrough so far we'll take this police officer still there still festering away beautiful <coughs> Right, so we have the third dog's head. So, uh, we need to get back, open the door, and get the fuck out of the house. Can't remember if any enemies come back. Still can't believe there was three in here. Uh, don't remember that from before. We're gonna have a little run. I think we're clear through this bit. There might be one pop up before. Fuck that. Go, go, go. Um, I say I thought there might be one pop up here around one of these corners. But no, we're good. Hmm. Fucking lovely, haunting music. Grandma, what did they do to you? Yeah, you don't want to talk. I don't really want to talk to you either. So, uh, yeah, let's go and stash some stuff. <coughs> right, uh, keep the dog head. Can't remember what other door the scorpion key goes to. Because we unlocked one to get the broken uh, broken shotgun to change it for the normal shotgun There's l I thought there was at least two doors to every key hmm so look at that later so get rid of the herbs get rid of the strong chem fluid get rid of the weak chem fluid keep that because <coughs> we're going to get outside in a bit Organization, got the antique coins, got extra shotgun shells in there, but we're not going to take them out. All right, quick save. That's uh, that's good. Grandma. Creepy. The music starts up again here. Oh. At least we know that Jack will not be coming after us now. I mean, we fucked his shit up. So... Fucking lock is that proper crunching? So outside we go. Oh, well, this looks like all the fun. This is where we saw Marguerite earlier, walking across there. I think she went up that way. We're not going to follow her yet. Have a little look around, see what's what. What's up for grabs? Herb, gunpowder, make even more bullets. I am going to have all of the bullets. This would be the sort of place you would usually use the psycho stimulant to show you where everything is. Luckily, I think I can remember stuff behind the foliage back here. Yep, another antique coin. Beautiful. Separating agent. What the fuck was that? <clears throat> Separating agent is used on things, obviously. Like, separate them and get the chem fluid back if you want to use them for healing items instead. Or, on healing items to get the chem fluid back to use them to create bullets instead. Uh, 
Have a herb. Yeah, you wouldn't know this playing the game for the first time. The psychostimulants might show you there's something behind here, but this. It's not particularly obvious. Corrugated metal sheet. Pull this shit off. Get in here. Can't remember what's in here. Change to the knife. Ah, repair kit. Repair broken weapons later on. Not the broke. Uh, actually, yes, the broken shotgun. Later on, we get a toy shotgun through uh, one way or another, and we can take the broken shotgun off, put the toy shotgun on that statue that we got that uh, that broken shotgun from, or put the broken shotgun on. And uh, when we do this, we uh, we can use a repair kit on that shotgun and uh, get a a better shotgun. Much more powerful, but only holds two shells. Side by side, uh, double barrel shotgun, rather than the pump action. Quick, quick little showing over here. Another secret. Also obtain a toy axe. See, this won't open for some reason. It's somehow wired to this puzzle. Um, video game logic. Uh, get a toy axe. Slap it on there. Use it and a shadow to cast to make that missing number, which is seven. That opens. Cannot remember what's in there. Probably like steroids or something. Um, we dive into here. This is where we uh, need to go. Just in him. Bobblehead. Uh, can't pick up that chem fluid. We'll grab it in a minute. But yeah. so this is a pleasant little caravan. This is also a safe room, which is handy. Lots of uh, really disgusting stuff here. Um, yeah, Zoe's bra, beautiful. Don't know why they even bothered adding that to the game. Seems intentionally weird. Can't pick that up yet, but that's a broken handgun. Could use a repair kit on that. It is slightly better than the handgun I've got, but not by a long way. The broken handgun is actually the handgun we uh, picked up in the old house with, uh, we shot Mia with, our wife. Uh, again, I need it right now. Uh, Gunpowder can go back. Right, we'll take the antique coins out, <coughs> and I'll show you why. Because this, I pick up the broken handgun. See, that's that broken handgun. Uh, don't know how it broke. Probably Jack, if he took it from us. Put that. No, don't want to combine it with a repair kit. Want to put it in there. Want to put the repair kit away as well because it takes up space. All right. So Zoe likes to drink. There's a saver. I think we only just saved, but right, these are why these cages require antique coins to open. Our stabilizers, the other thing, it increases. Uh, find these throughout the game as well. Stabilizers, they touch it. Um, this is these increase your accuracy basically, stop you being all fucking wobbly and shit with this, which I, I could use obviously. But yeah, these two one cost three, one cost five, or. I now have nine coins. You can get the Magnum. Now, <clears throat> it is the most powerful, probably the most powerful gun in the game. Not 100% on that because you get a rocket launcher type thing later. Um, it's definitely the most powerful handgun in the game. The ammo for it is so fucking limited. I think you get like, you don't get any more than 20 bullets for it in the whole game. I mean, most of the time I find like seven, eight. You find like a single bullet at a time. It does make any of the end fights a fuck ton easier, but um, we're not going to get that. We're not going to do it. Uh, picture of the Baker family back when they weren't fucked up, or that they still look fucked up. I'm guessing that's Zoe and Lucas's children. There you go. It's too late for them. Uh, information. Uh, my body's feeling weirder and weirder. Should I become like mum and dad? It's all her fault. Should I run? No, I can't. I'm dead if she finds out. That woman she is with Mia, she knows something. If I had the serum, I could cure myself. I have to find out more. Notes from Zoe and a serum and a cure. So yeah. So no, what we're gonna do is we are gonna waste our coins here and get stronger. We'll take the steroids and the stabilizer. Cause why the fuck not? Steroids. Never understood the point of you having to put them in one at a time. 
I know not everybody might collect them all their first time round, but... Stabilizer. And yes, we are going to do both fucking needles right now. That's it. Speed and such is increased. Re oh no, sorry. It doesn't increase your um, accuracy. It increases your reload rate. Okay. As with every time we try to leave a place, the phone rings. You made it. You're the first I've ever seen make it this far. So what is it you need me to do? Is it going to help me get out of here? Yes. Now listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help Mia and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. 